Geeta, tell us more. Well, this is a story that's dominated the lives of fishermen, not just here, but across the north since October last year. That's when tons of dead marine life were washed up along these shores. And this is what fishermen were faced with. Tens of thousands of dead lobsters, crabs, limpets, the list goes on. And fishermen have told me this has decimated their business. They've gone from earning about £20,000 for a catch to simply nothing. Now, at the time, the government blamed something called algae bloom, a thin layer of plants that builds up um, when the water's warm. The problem with algae bloom is it's toxic to marine life. The problem with that explanation in this story is that fishermen say that's not what caused it. And they were so adamant last year they asked for help to investigate and today scientists from across four different universities say they found no evidence of toxins from algae bloom instead they found another chemical called pyridine the reason why that's so important is pyridine isn't naturally occurring like algae bloom it's an industrial toxin caused from things like oil refineries that makes its way into rivers and riverbeds and what scientists say is they believe that when rivers have been dredged here the sediment has been dumped into the north sea and is polluting water here they say they found no evidence to support the government's claims what we hope is that the policymakers will take this information on board and try and mitigate any future impacts that dredging may be having on the community. And if you don't make mitigations in how you undergo the practices, we're going to see this happening time and time again. Mm -hmm. And there's only so much damage that the sea and the life in the sea can take. Well, the government have told us they did test for pyridine and found nothing. But this report has led many here to want more answers as they face a difficult winter. Sangeeta, thank you.